What a beautiful day outside today. It was about 85 degrees, wind about 5 to 10 uh, miles per hour or whatever. So it was kind of a little windy, but overall it was going to be a great day for golf. And, yeah, I'm totally going to overtalk that. Uh, me totally missing that first shot. Only hit it at about three feet to the right. I'm just going to blame that one on the wind because the wind was blowing hella hard that day. And as you saw, the second shot, I totally missed as well. But that third one, that one looked good, man. That was about 300 feet plus, um, like, down the middle of the field, man. So I was pretty excited about that. I had the people um, at the practice range looking at me like, dang, who is that, man? About to knock all these balls all the way down the fairway, man. I was like, yo, I'm just wrist black. That's just me. So get some more shots in, man. Like I said, I was wowing the people at the practice range, man. They was like, hey, can we get your autograph? Can we, like, can we roll with you? Can we ride with you? Can we golf with you today, man? You look pretty good, man. You, like, the second coming of Tiger Woods out here, baby. I was like, I know. I know, but calm down. But uh, I'm just a little bit amateur here. I'm here to have a little bit of fun or whatever. So, you know, just here with the homies on a nice little President's Day on the off day. Uh, get some uh, nice and golf man, man. So we just gonna continue to hit the the practice range balls and getting our swing nice and tuned up and ready to go. And bow, man, knock the hell out of that one too. That one went about uh what 400 feet. That was like one of my personal best uh, at the practice range. So I was doing pretty good today. Overall, the day was going to be looking up, and I was looking forward to hitting birdies and pars, baby. That's about it. Hopped in the golf cart, ready to go to hole number one. We're a little bit late. We supposed to actually start. Um, at hole number one at about 150, but we was too busy stuffing our mouths back in the lounge eating or whatever And they had some pretty dope food. That food was like great It had like some shrimp or whatever that I they was the biggest shrimp I ever seen in my life Like oh my god, I don't even think that it was a uh, shrimp, but and it was good as hell So we had to wait a little bit We was uh fearful that they was gonna like make us wait a little bit longer because we had already missed our tea time But uh luckily not the guy was pretty nice about it and uh, we was able to just roll up and just uh, start right away, even though we was kind of hella late. But here we go. Meet the fellas. Joel right there. My man Ricky over there. So we about to have a great time, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Hole number one. Here we are. Boom. Joel not say hello to that one. Joel's a pretty good, uh, decent player or whatever. But he all right. I mean, he ain't the best. But he all right. He can, he can make great contact with the ball. So here I am coming up to the first tee, man. Looking at the wind, it was kind of windy out. As soon as I go to the tee, all the damn wind just start blowing over there. So I was kind of nervous that I was going to hit it to the left or right. But, you know, me being me, as confident as I am, being the best sports damn player ever and whatever I do, I had no concerns that I was going to knock the ball all the way down the fairway. But I did kind of move it to the right a little bit to make sure I hit it in those people's houses, man. Because, you know, living on the golf course, you can't mess up some people's houses. And one, two, three, bam! Knocked the hell out of that one, baby. That one was gone. That one was gone all the way down the fairway, man. I was so excited that I got that one down the fairway, man. Next up was my man Pedro. He was kind of the random dude. Um, he was going to be solo out there, but he was able to match up with us. And he was pretty doggone decent, man. Like, he was out there making everybody look good. And that one went, like, damn near almost, like, 500 feet, man. Like, he was knocking the hell out of the ball. And it was only, like, T number one. I was like, man, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Next up was my man, Ricky, man. He had all the pressure on him, man, because before him, all three of us hit the ball nice right down the fairway, man. So no pressure, no pressure on him. But, you know, he kind of messed up a little bit, so he hit it to the right. So he had to go and uh, get his like, second um, ball out of, the, out of the bag or whatever. But he got it right. He did pretty good, man. So, you know, can't blame him, but he did good. No pressure, though. Definitely no pressure. Pressure bust pipes. Be back on Joel again, man. He's down in the fairway. Like, how many practice swings do you think you need in order before he even hits the ball to make contact? That's like one. Count it off for me, though. That's two. Here we go. Do we get a three? Do we get a three coming with the practice screen? Nah, he ain't going to get a three, but he's going to definitely knock the hell out of this ball. Booyah. Bam. All the way down the fairway. He did a right. That's another I right shot for Joel, man. But like I said, he pretty decent at the game, even though he goes at twice a week. But uh, we ain't going to give him too much credit. All right, here we go. We back on Pedro. Pedro don't need no practice shots. Pedro is good. Bam, he knocks the hell out of that ball, man. What they saying coming to America? That boy good. That boy good. He real good, man. Oh, my God, that boy good. Now sit back and watch me sink this putt, baby. That's how we do it. You going? All right. Ah. Did you see that hill like on the on the green right there? 
Like that totally affected my shot. Like that was dead on. Like I Tiger Woods at the entire time, man. So here we go again, trying that out again from the other side. And trust me, I got it this time. Watch. Man, that same dip again. It got me twice. Like, I need to go ahead and report this green. Like, it just ain't. It ain't like fair. Like, it ain't like even out appropriately. But no. <laughs> look, look. Come on now. Leave a comment in the chat if you think it was me or the green. It definitely is a green. But I was able to hit it in from there, and bam, we got it, baby. I was able to save birdie. Okay, I was able to save birdie. That's my story, and that's what I'm sticking with, baby. Back at the tee box, man. I don't know what hole this was, but all I know is I was about to give me a nice little eagle. So here we go, lining it up. Wind was blowing again. Hey, take note. I said the wind was blowing hella hard out here. So, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, I was just doing that for the content. I was just doing it for the YouTube video. I was going to edit this out, but I was doing it for the YouTube, baby. That's why I miss, and that's my story. This time I hit it off to the right a little bit, and... <laughs> The wind just like totally took that. Oh, anytime I miss, anytime I miss, it's definitely it's because of the, the freaking wind, man. Because it was hella wind out there today. And it was kind of affecting my shot. But I was feeling a little bit more confident, man. Put my little back into it, and bam. Hey, that was good. Oh, that was a nice little shot. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that was a good shot by me. Cool, man. Cool. Let's go. He goes Joel again with his little practice shots. The man, take like five practice shots. Before he even take like a real shot, but he did good. Nice little hit off the box, man. Here we go. So he did his little thing. He did his little thing, but we ain't gonna give him too much credit. Like I said, can't do that. Here's my second shot from the tee box. And you guys thought it went off in the woods. Nope, it landed perfectly right in the freaking fairway. And I'm about to like destroy it and hit it right on the green. Now, remember I was telling you about that wind? The wind took that shot and landed my ball back in the freaking bunker. But you know what? I got a nice little trick for that. If you guys want to see how I get it to the green and like a few shots, let me show you. Let me show you. Here you go. You pick it up. You throw it up. And voila, we're on the green, baby. We are saving birdie, okay? That's my story, all right? You're saving birdie on this by using that method that I just showed you with my little magic trick. And here I am. About to be birdie rich. That's what they call me on the golf course. Look at that. There you go. Oh. That was a great roll. Ooh. Now here I am putting for par to save this hole. The wind thought it defeated me, but I'm back. Rich is back. Watch this. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Save par, baby. What's up, Dirty People? How you doing so far? It's great. I beat you ass. All the holes. Really, sir? <laughs> really? Come on. Having fun. That's what matters, man. So, Dirty People, how you doing so far? Oh, I'm doing all right, man. Thank Dirties you, sir. and Eagles? Uh, you know, I'm beating the whole thing. <laughs> <sighs> man, I'm tired, man. Had a lot of fun out here today. Birdies and Eagles for the most part. Golf is hard, guys. I don't think you guys realize how hard it is to make contact with the ball or whatever, but it's not an easy sport, but uh, I'm enjoying myself. I you need to probably take a little bit more serious or whatever, so it's hard. It's hard. We on the back nine already, almost uh, to what? 18 or whatever? So pretty good. Overall, it's been a nice day. President's Day, holiday. Had a day off, off from work or whatever, so boys tired they like doing a full 18 like that's not okay. easy chat that is not easy doing a full 18 probably do like a full nine without no problem but a full 18 but the, the weather is kind of nice today so it ain't terribly bad it's nice weather it's about 80 degrees out sun is out no clouds in the sky so but you know they're pretty nice and pretty nice i love it definitely gotta do it more often whenever i'm off work i like to come out here and try to do a full 18, golf or whatever. Just be outside. Being outside is probably the most important part about all this, but been pretty good. 
So we on, uh, what number are we on? 16, I think. Two more to go, and we'll be done for the day. But I enjoyed myself so far. So let me uh, go strong with these last two holes, birdies and eagles. Check you guys out. Rolling up the hole number 18 to finish off the day, and what a day it was. Birdies and eagles, according to my scorecard. That's my story. And that's what I'm sticking with. That's what I'm gonna post online. So we're gonna fake the funk all the way, baby. Let's go. You know, my buddy says, no R18. best for glory. R18. Let's go. Last chance to finish off the course under par. On number 18, going for an eagle shot here. I'm feeling pretty good. Gotta finish off strong, man. Gotta finish off strong. Here we go. Now that was a good hit. That was almost like one of my best hits all day long, man. Right down the fairway. Definitely on uh, the right road to get an eagle. Here goes Ricky. Hey. He finished off with a good hit as well. And of course, here goes practice shot Joel. Let's see how he ends it off. That sounded pretty good, right? It was a good hit. Done golfing on the way home. Put the cart up. I think I was like par for the core or something like that for the Ford 18. Did pretty good. Yeah. All right, man. Peace out. Nice meeting you. But yeah, par for the course. Did pretty good. Call me um, Rich Black. Birdie and Eagles, baby. That's all I get. Birdies and Eagles when I come out here. No bogeys. No triple bogeys or nothing like that. Straight birdies and pars, baby. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do pretty good. So until next time, make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, turn the live notifications turned on. And uh, catch you guys next time. Peace out.